It's the final segment of the Wine Challenge here in central Hong Kong, Watson's Wine. I'm with buyer Jeremy Stockman, and now we're on to Italy. Indeed. Following your week of activities here, I think it's appropriate we finish with Italian. Absolutely. It was a great uh, few days, and, and I think that uh, Asians, particularly uh, Hong Kong Chinese, are really going to get into Italian wines because it goes so great with their food. And you matched perfectly last night with Asian cuisine. Great. Well, let's see what you have. Okay. Three distinct regions. Wow, it's nice. Almost a licorice character. Mm. Blueberries. A modern style. Yeah, you're right. At least on the nose, super clear, mm. fruity, defined. Mm. Some new wood. Wow, quite structured too. Tannins. Sangiovese driven. You can feel the tannins on there. With some mellow. But I think, do you find that, for example, in Asia, that your customers, they don't mind a little bit of tannin like that, no? No, I, I find that here people have grown up with quite strong teas and they're very used to tannins. Exactly, that's mm. what I always say. Mm. People forget. They actually like less these big fruit bombs that yes. maybe Americans like more. Yes. No? Absolutely, absolutely. Tannin doesn't seem to be a problem. Mm. That's a nice balance to it. And I like the savouriness too. The tannins and then the acidity. Mm. It's very fresh. Let me score this 14, 20. I'm teetering 93, 92 on this beautiful wine. I'm going to give it 93 because I like the clarity of fruit yeah. to it. Yeah. No? That's delicious. Let's see what it is. It's the cheapest wine we've tried today. No. It's $228. Oh my God. Prognola. Oh, sure. I mean, this one's a lot. I think I, yeah, I always give this around 92, yeah. 93. Yeah. That's great value. And actually, it's made uh, next door to where I live. Well, so I know it very well. Well, great choice, uh, Jeremy. Yeah, that's a great value wine. Wow. Yeah, from a, from a super producer. An 09. Yes. Beautiful vintage. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, let's go for the second one. Okay. This is more traditional, I'd say. Yes. It seems a little bit, is it an older wine then? It is. Yeah, yes. there's yes. there's some, it's almost that sort of where you're getting the cedar, the yeah. spice, even sort of dried cheese, yes. more, yeah. much more traditional, but I like it. Yeah, yeah slightly leafy. Yeah, leaf. It's you're a right. It's very typical of Italian wine where you get that almost balsamic character mm. to it, the acidity. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a real mm. Italianness to it. You, you wow. don't find that anywhere else in the world. No, you're right. Mm. But it's so good. Dry cherries. Yeah. Almost a soya savory. sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, soy nut. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Really enjoying that. I'm, uh, let's see. As you say, much more traditional style. Yeah. I slightly prefer the uh, Cronulo, but I'm going to give this uh, 91 points. No problem. Clearly outstanding wine. Yeah. Let's see what it is. This is from Coldoccia. It's a Brunello Mocchini. Oh, I thought it was, but then I was thinking, how could you get a Brunello for 500 or less? $378. Oh, my. Really, I, I was like, Brunello, no, nah, it's impossible. Yeah. And then I said, well, how could a Rosso be so, that good? This is excellent. It's an excellent wine, isn't and it? for the money? Yeah. That's Brunello? Wow. To be drinking Brunello at that price. From well a great done. Mm. Great stuff. OK, and the last wine. Let's hope it can deliver. So far, so good. Wow, this is really different, too. It's quite tightly wound, no? It's very young.
flowers. Let's get some rice paddle in there. Tea. Some leather, even, new leather. Yeah. Firm tannins. Mm. It's interesting, the finish, then it turns almost to a sort of caramel, yeah. leather, fruit. I think this wine's just still coming together. It's a 2008. Wow. I'm trying to decide if it's Barolo or Barbaresco, but... It's definitely one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you get that firmness, yeah. pretty fruit, it's a wine that's actually pretty tight right mm. now. I think it needs another two or three years. Yeah. But I like the um, intensity, firmness. Like I always say, it reminds me of Burgundy, but like uh, in leather or something. Yes. It's sort of yeah. like firmness. And yeah. Anyways, I'm, uh, I'm 92 points on this. I think in three, three four, five years, it's really going to be amazing. But if you decanted it two hours before, I think you really see a difference. Beautiful wine. Well, we were drinking old wines from this producer last night, and they age beautifully. And oh, I so it's Toretto? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I think he makes better and better and better wine, so I think this wine is going to age beautifully. Well, let's see what's... Uh, is it... A, it's... What's happened at Zonkara. Oh, it's on Cato. Okay, yes. sure, I should have thought of that. Excellent. Great, great tasting. really like that. It's great. a very young wine, but... Good, good call, I think. And what was the price again? Uh, that one is uh, 458. Well, three distinctly different wines. <laughs> yeah, they're very different styles. <laughs> and beautiful, I like yeah. that. That's the beauty of, it, of Italy. So. Yeah. Thanks again, yeah. great tasting. James, Cheers, mate. Thank Thanks. You.